Pakistan's leading English language newspaper Dawn has revealed in an exclusive report that when the Federal Investigation Agency or FIA registered a case against former Prime Minister Imran Khan for withholding the copy of a diplomatic cipher, seven other state offices had not returned their copies to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, court records show. Imran Khan was convicted for 10 years along with his party deputy and former Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi in a sham trial in the Diala jail of this cipher case. The revelation has further decimated the prosecution's case, which has already lacked any evidence. Imran Khan's appeal of the conviction was heard today and adjourned for tomorrow in the Islamabad High Court, where his lawyers presented closing arguments. Imran Khan continues to be held in solitary confinement for the 235th day. Six senior judges of the Islamabad High Court have written a letter to the Supreme Court Chief Justice and the Supreme Judicial Council, the highest forum where matters pertaining to judges are discussed, revealing pressure tactics by the country's powerful intelligence agency, the ISI. The letter mentioned seven instances of alleged interference and intimidation to influence the outcome of cases of interest by the intelligence officials, particularly cases pertaining to the former Prime Minister Imran Khan. In the letter, the judges revealed how family members were abducted and tortured, secret cameras placed in the bedroom of judges and crackers thrown inside the house of another judge. The Supreme Court Chief Justice has yet to respond to the letter. Despite a UN Security Council resolution calling for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza during Ramadan, Israel has relentlessly continued its bombing campaign. 76 people killed in Israel attacks in the last 24 hours in the holiest month of the year for the Muslims. At least 32,490 Palestinians have been killed and 74,889 wounded in Israel attacks on Gaza since October 7, 2023. Former Prime Minister Imran Khan's party, the Pakistan Tehreek Saf, or Movement for Justice, has demanded that all of Imran Khan's convictions and trials be declared null and void following revelations by the six judges of the Islamabad High Court. Barrister Gohar Ali Khan, the party's interim chairman, vowed to stand by the country's judiciary for the supremacy of the law. He said, unquote, this isn't a letter, it is a charge sheet, unquote. Imran Khan was convicted by the lower courts of Islamabad through sham trials, which were already controversial, but the judge's revelations now vindicate Imran Khan that the intelligence agencies were behind the politically motivated cases against him. The United States said on Tuesday does not support a Pakistan-Iran gas pipeline project from going forward and cautioned about the risk of sanctions in doing business with Tehran. Pakistan had recently decided to move forward on construction of a gas pipeline with its neighbor Iran, for which an agreement had been signed in the year 2013. Besides the State Department spokesperson, the controversial Assistant Secretary of State for South and Central Asian Affairs, Donald Liu, had issued a veiled threat in a congressional hearing last week. Pakistan has said it would seek a waiver, but has yet to do so.